Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to be showing you my fully automatic and AF cable life fruit farm. I hope you enjoy. So before I get started with this video, I did want to say that I do have the Calamity mod installed, and this mod will not affect the output or really just the process of building this farm at all. You can build it perfectly fine in vanilla. I just wanted to say that because I have a lot of Calamity modded items that you might wonder where they came from. So to start off this video, I just wanted to show you the basics of this farm, and then we'll get into the more complicated and optional parts of it. So basically, what you're going to want to do to start out is build layers of jungle grass on mud down somewhere in the underground, and then you want to actuate them and put wires on them. So what you want to do next is place dart traps one block above the floor and one block below the ceiling. Also make sure they are always actuated so that you can walk through them. And make sure you connect them to your timer or switch or whatever you use to harvest the life fruit from the rest of the farm. And basically what they do is they break all of the grass and all of the vines that grow from the ceiling that will inhibit the growth of life fruit. Because obviously you want the life fruit and you don't want them to not grow. Um, the vines that I'm talking about are these and the grass is this right here. They cannot be broken from actuating the block under them unlike the life fruit and the large jungle plants. Now I also wanted to talk about plantera bulbs. Now plantera bulbs will spawn in this farm, uh, just like any manual farm, and if you want that, then that's great. But if you don't, then you're going to want to actuate the block under the plantera bulb multiple times when you're over 50 blocks away in order for it to break without plantera spawning. The next thing you're going to want to do is connect all of your platforms and your dart traps to a lever or timer. Now levers will make it so that you can manually harvest it, just like this, as you can see all the life fruit and all of the large jungle plants are slowly breaking. Or if you want to make it fully AFK, you have to connect it to a timer. I have my timer all the way up here. If you want it to be fully AFK, then it does have to be a 5 second timer, and I'll explain why in just a moment. So basically, once life fruit can only grow on blocks that are not actuated, and if you have a 1 second timer, then you will not have enough time to grow the life fruit in between the blocks being actuated, but a 5 second timer will allow that, so make sure you use a 5 second timer. You could also even use an extended timer by connecting two timers together with wires. Now the next couple of steps are completely optional, but I do recommend you doing them because I think they are pretty cool. It's also advised that you put a peace candle down here, I actually don't have one and I'm constantly getting overrun by mobs when I'm not down here where they spawn. So basically, what you're going to want to do is place conveyor belts down here, going wherever you want to put your life fruit collection area at. And if you want to make your life fruit go vertical, you have to use a vertical hoik. Let me just zoom in so you can see the hoik better. As you can see, just like that, I'm not going to explain how to build the hoik because it's kind of complicated, and you should just be able to look at this video and see how to build it. So all horizontal movement of the life fruit are done by conveyor belts, and obviously the hoik I just showed you is um, how I move them vertically. Now my collection system is in my base up here, as you can see right here. Um, basically I have the vertical hoik ending right here. Let me zoom in once again so you can see the top. So that's where the end of the pattern of dirt blocks go. And then you're going to want conveyor belts, moving them to wherever you want to collect your life fruit. And of course, at the top here, I do have conveyor belts that are actuated and sloped. Now this one is going to go counterclockwise, and this one's going to go clockwise. And both of them should be actuated in sync with the timer and the rest of your farm. Now, that's all it is to the farm. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I will be sure to answer them. If you want a full in-depth tutorial about how to build this, then I will show you, and I'll just leave a comment down below if you want that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye everyone.